It's Think Museums once again, and please join us as we explore the massive Theodore Roosevelt Dam here in Arizona. Get ready to witness the impressive architecture and engineering, and learn about the history and significance of this iconic dam. Don't miss out on this unique tour filled with stunning views and fascinating facts about one of Arizona's most important landmarks. Hi YouTube, you're wondering where I am then you need to watch this video because I'm in Lake Roosevelt and there's a dam here that was created by President Roosevelt and launched in 1911 here in Arizona. This dam is a hydroelectric dam and this is part of the Salt River project. So for people in Arizona and they use electricity from different utility companies, we have APS and SRP and this is part of the SRP project. So they generated the dam is upstream that side. Electricity generation takes place there. Well, today we are embarking on an off-roading adventure in the Arizona desert and our destination is the iconic Theodore Roosevelt Dam. This is not just a desert, it's called the Tonto Forest and as you can see, we don't have many trees but a lot of cactus. As we are navigating through this desert terrain, one thing for sure, it's no walk in the park. As we approach the dam, we're going to discover seven mind-blowing facts about the Theodore Roosevelt Dam here in Arizona from its impressive height and capacity its role in water management and hydroelectric power generation. Originally called Salt River Dam, the current name honors the 26th U.S. President, Theodore Roosevelt. Upon its completion, the Roosevelt Dam stood as the highest masonry dam in the world. It's a wall of large sandstone blocks, and like most modern structures, the energy was always secondary. The dam has a modest installed capacity of 36 megawatts, good enough for local needs, but a far cry from the 22,500 megawatt rating of the Three Gorges Dam. It took much longer than expected. Construction began in 1903 and finished in 1911, four years after the projected deadline. In 1989, the aging dam underwent an ambitious expansion like the Hoover Dam, which is in the border between Arizona and Nevada, it carves upstream for better resistance against water pressure. The canyon walls provide additional support. Gravity also helps it stay put with its substantial weight. It was a grand project back then. The estimated construction cost was $10 million, which may not seem much compared to current budgets. However, the inflation-adjusted equivalent is over $300 million in 2024. In 1911, its 84-meter wall broke previous records. It has since grown to 109 meters, but it now lags behind similar structures in the U.S., like the Grand Coulee Dam, which is 168 meters. Its total spillway capacity is 4,200 cubic meters per second, equal to the maximum flow rate of the controversial Orville Dam spillway in California. That's the Theodore Roosevelt Dam. It's here in Arizona. It was constructed between 1903 and 1911. The laborers who worked here earned $2.50, but that was uh, in 1903 and 1911. That's when this was constructed. This one looks like uh, down there. This looks like this is the first building. Uh, it was launched by Roosevelt. He was a president back then. The name was Theodore Roosevelt. So that's how the dam looks like. It's one of the Power hydroelectric power stations here in Arizona. Uh, we have th three. This is the third one, uh, but this is the only one that is inside Arizona. The rest are in the border between Utah and Arizona, and the other one between Nevada and Arizona. So this is how they look like. Pretty cool. When you go that side, it's a long winding road, but awesome stuff.
seen. Wow, the so called Roosevelt Bridge. So they call it an inspiration place, and this is it. So this bridge was constructed in 1987, between 1987 and 1990. Wow, this is awesome. So looks like everybody's up there. Look, everybody's there. Did you see the boat? Yeah, but they can't go that side.